What's going on brothers? Welcome back to another cast. I've got for you here today a replay I took from the ladder. It's going to be Zealot spawning in the top right hand corner as the red zerg player. His opponent down in the bottom left is Pig. Pig24. Guy's kind of an interesting ladder player. I don't think he's got any professional results. Um, it's hard to tell from Liquipedia sometimes. Uh, I believe there's some players named Pig, but I don't know if it's him. This is the same player or not. He's kind of uh, crazy with the, the IEDs though. He, as you can see here, is Pig24, which uh, doesn't really turn up anything, but this ID is gone. It's actually already been deleted. And he is now on pig 25. So what he does is he just continuously deletes and remakes new accounts. Kind of restarts the climb. I can totally understand the reason for that. Being that sitting at your peak MMR and uh, trying to play, you're usually going to lose about 50% of your games or more. But if you keep remaking your account over and over again, then you get to climb. You know, you start off by playing some weaker players. You can get a pretty, uh, a few good wins and your win rate's going to be pretty good. Probably about 50% or more, uh, maybe 60, 70% even. At least until you get back to your peak MMR. So I don't condone it, but I do understand it. I feel like... A lot of players do this. A lot of even pro players do this. Continuously make IDs over and over again. Just so that they can experience the climb. And uh, get some extra wins. Maybe build some confidence or something like that. So that's kind of what Pig does. He's on his 24th account in this game. He started out with the Nexus. First in the bottom left hand corner. It's cross map. So he's going to get away with this. The cannon is going to finish up just in time. As this Ling makes its way across the map, it will retreat backwards now. Probe here being chased. Looks like it's going to take a little bit of damage, but Zealot doing a good job. He's making sure that that probe doesn't make its way into the main. He's spread out his Lings around the map. Now going to bring them together to start to chase down this probe. Oh, he almost caught it there, actually. This is something I've been working on a bit in my own play as well. Trying to track down this probe because it is a real hassle if it manages to make its way into the main and reveal everything that you're trying to do. Sell it here. Doing a good job of keeping three links on a hotkey and one of them chasing the probe. That means that he'll always have vision of this probe and it'll give him many opportunities here to actually dive upon that. And he should try to deny that probe as much as possible because Hydralis Den is done and speed is on the way now. So if this probe manages to make its way in, that could be a real headache for Zealot coming up with the Lings. I'd like to see Zealot actually be a little bit more aggressive with the Lings actually because when the probe is out here on the map like this, the uh, Protoss player is not necessarily paying attention to it. He might be doing something back at home. Generally, what happens is the Protoss player will bring the probe forward and then or put it on a bunch of uh, maybe shift clicks or just moving it around with right clicks. And then once it makes its way into the natural area, that's kind of when he's going to pay attention to it carefully. But over here in this area or down here in this area, he's not necessarily going to be paying close attention to that probe. And if you bring the links up at the right moment especially if it's at a place like this if the probe is coming up this ramp and you've got three lings sitting right there you have full vision of it you know when it's coming you jump on top of it and kill that that's going to allow you to have uh, that extra element of surprise with the probe not on the map you can surprise your opponent just that a little bit quicker with your hydralisk attack now the probe made its way back two zealots came out and killed that one ling so now zealot doesn't have a ling tracking this probe and unfortunately the probe is going to make its way around the bottom side here and up into this natural and that's going to reveal the entire strategy here from zealot the hydras are popping out and they're on their way across the map they do have that speed range is about done right now three cannons are on the way though and one of them finishes up already. So Pig 
very quick reaction speed to get these cannons down and uh, figure out what's going on and just counter it properly here. He's not mining his second gas, which is good. He is mining his main gas, but he's mostly working on minerals right now because he needs to pump up this cannon number and eventually start to get some gateways out as well. He's got two gateways up in the main, so he was actually planning on doing a very aggressive zealot timing, but he's gonna have to hold this first. Here we go. Zealots are gonna be targeted down here from zealot. Just barely out of range of these cannons now. The range has finished up for the Hydralis. Gonna go to work on this gateway here. More and more Hydras in production. Plenty of them streaming across the map here, but he does throw down an extra base, an extra hatchery on the way here for Zealot and five drones in production. All that the Corsair has seen so far is just pure Hydralis popping out here. So seeing the two drones at this third base. Okay, another one pops out. He sees that. That's going to be great information here for Pig. He knows that he's pretty much held on that no more Hydras are going to be coming here. He could just sit back, produce Zealots, start to get his gateway count up, and move into the next stage of the game. The Hydralis bust is not successful. Looks like the plus one as well did finish. We're going to have plus one armor here finishing or on the way as well. Uh, uh, the Corsair here in the main base is going to spot this evolution chamber and this is an interesting thing that i have yet to really experiment with is actually getting the evolution chamber and the upgrade started before throwing down additional hatcheries uh it's rare that you ever see that in this kind of situation because you are so choked on drone count your drone count is so low here it's really a vital importance to get your hatcheries up as soon as possible and we see the lurker aspect is being researched from Zealot as well. He's kind of identified here what his opponent is looking to do. This is a lot of Zealots to have at this point. And you can see behind this, he's got a ton of gateways here going up to six gates right away and nonstop production of Zealots from those gateways. So he knows that there's going to be a Zealot attack. He's getting into, hydro or into the lurkers because he knows that he's limited on the number of larva that he has right now he needs something more powerful than just pure hydra in order to hold off against these zealots and now they're going to start to come out here this is quite a lot of zealots good microing back here from zealot himself taking a decent fight against these as they move forward Looks like he's going to be picking off the overlords here at the front as well. Quite a few zealots have gone down, and the Hydralis number is still pretty solid. If he targets down the zealots that are low HP, he might be able to win this fight. However, retreating here is going to make a few lurkers at the front, trying to make a bit of a wall. Hydra's being rallied forward, not able to save that overlord at the front, and that means that with the DT on the way, this kind of containment that... Zealot has set up is not going to work out. Oh, he does have Overlord Speed though. Overlord Speed being done does help him a bit uh, to, to potentially contain this. If he manages to kill off these Zealots really quickly, deal with the Zealots here at the 12 o'clock, that's actually going to be a serious problem. Four Zealots running into the 12 o'clock right now is an issue. Gonna lose a few drones here. Zealot sending all of his Hydras to the north. Kind of preemptively here. Is gonna catch these Zealots and stop them from killing that hatchery. Losing the hatchery right then would have been potentially game ending damage. Lurkers set up at the front. They are one storm apart, or not one storm apart, sorry, like half a storm apart. So if you put the storm right there, it can hit both those Lurkers. That is an issue. That is yet to be resolved here for Zealot. Going to bring forward some overlords, but does not manage to catch this DT, making its way out on the map. A few Zealots hidden here. A few Zealots hidden here. May be able to get some kills on some of these drones here, potentially. Good number of Hydras at the fourth base. Third is pretty exposed and natural has almost nothing one hydra here so did the if the zealots manage to make their way over to this area it could be disastrous for zealot zealot actually has a ton of hydras in the bottom right i guess he was tracking down some some zealots uh, over maybe over here but 
It seems like an off place to keep your Hydras at this moment. Fortunately for him, the forces of his opponent, the infantry here, are down in this weird location, kind of down at the six o'clock. Not really in a spot to counterattack right now. And now Zealot's found his Hydras. He is going to run into these Zealots. And this is what you want uh, as a Zerg player. You want to be finding, tracking down these Zealots and getting rid of them on the map. Oh, Dragoons are busting out. Looks like he killed a few of his own cannons to make this work. But he does manage to kill those three Lurkers. And he is unleashed on the map. So Pig is out here now. He's going to start to push across the map. And that could be a serious issue for Zealot, who really doesn't have that much right now. He's got a few Hydras here. He's got plus one. But his opponent's got plus one, plus one. And going for that all-important plus two armor, it's going to be coming up soon here. Zealot has managed to even out the worker count at this point. But his lurker number is sadly lacking, sorely lacking here. And his Hydra number is really not that high, although he's getting close in supply to Pig. So Pig getting his third base out. He's going to be chilling here on high ground for a moment as those cannons finish up. Surprised to see two cannons here. Maybe he was expecting a follow-up with, uh, with Mutilus. That's a little bit funny. He does still have two Corsairs, and there's really no chance of a mutilus transition here from zealot so maybe a bit of a misread from pig definitely a bit of a misread wasting some of those precious resources building up cannons that are not necessary at all this is 300 minerals this is 300 so that is 750 minerals just to give you guys an idea that's almost two nexus worth of cannons that are not going to be useful this game so well potentially they still could be but Definitely don't need them at this moment. Here comes a Queen's Nest on the way now for Zealot. So he is all interested in this transition. Wants to go with four base directly into Hive here. Speed for Lings just now on the way. It's a good time to get it because you want to have that finish so that when the Hive is done you're definitely going to be able to get adrenal glands and your links are going to be hitting their power spikes. So getting that down now, a couple our creep colony coming down on this high ground. He's been pretty lucky so far, not taking any damage uh, from counterattacks while kind of powering up here. A lot of uh, hatches have come up. Oh my God. What is this? Is this actually, oh geez, this is a lot of overlords here. And I think they all have some uh, Hydras in them. Not 100% sure, but yeah, it looks like they do. Lurkers as well. He's going right for the main here. Here comes Zealot with the massive drop right going into the main. He is supply blocked right now. So if any of these overlords die, he's going to be not able to build anything. That you really do want to be throwing down uh, or just building up a huge army. Uh, while the Protoss is trying to clear this out, looks like a big uh, Hydralis force coming forward here as the majority of Pig's forces are drawn here into the main to deal with this Lurker attack uh, and Lurker Hydra drop. Uh, he will be able to maybe crush this third base. That would be huge. Coming up with the Hydras now. Jumping here onto the uh, third base. Zealots are being picked off pretty rapidly, and most of the army from Pig is locked into the main. It's not able to get down here, I think, in time to save this. One storm does go out. A second storm goes out. Maybe he can save this with some good storms, but there we go. Jumping on top of the Nexus now. He's going to right-click that down. Oh, Zealot's going to get it. He gets the third. Picks that off, and he gets a Templar on the way out. So nicely done by Zealot. Picking off those extra units and killing that expansion is huge right now. Kind of funny, really, to see the uh, hatcheries here from Zealot in this weird position. I wanted to mention it earlier, but so much was going on. That drop really took my attention away. But we've got triple hatch here, macro hatch in the front. So this location is insanely important to the Zerg right now. If he loses his base, it's actually not as bad as it would be in a normal game because a normal game, you'd probably have three hatches right here. And that's like a main production center. But 
you know, if he loses this, maybe if he's got this space up by then, it won't be too bad. It wouldn't be the worst thing in the world because he still has the larva from these other bases, which is a different dynamic in this matchup that I haven't really seen a lot of. Now, we do have the Protoss army moving up towards the top center. Big is going to simultaneously take the uh, third base, retake the third base, and take a fourth base at the same time. Here comes Zealot. He's going to try and break that ramp up above to the north. That's not going to happen. Uh, taking While also taking a fight with these Hydras here, how are we doing on the upgrades now? 2-1 is done. Another attack upgrade is coming. Armor? No, no armor. He's actually going for attack on the melee. So melee upgrades on the way here. Just completely avoiding Carapace this game is Zealot. He is uh, on one evolution chamber second evo is on the way though i think crack should be done i don't see any reason why he wouldn't get that he should absolutely have that ready i heard a load up here but defilers are now out as well this army moving its way northward it's not going to be able to take this ramp it is just going to back away here while Pig secures this fourth so Pig has basically secured his future here the four bases is going to be keeping him alive for quite a long time. He could start throwing cannons over in this location as well. That would be really, really strong. Taking this base uh, allows you to stay alive for a very long time in mining as the uh, Protoss player. But he also has to stay active on the map. He cannot allow Zealot to take this base for free. Cannons here on the high ground. Going to be useful at defending against this incoming crackling attack. There's the storm. Zealots here as well. Tanking damage for these cannons. Looks like a few more hydras are going to come up, but they do eat that storm to the face. Nice defense here from Piggy. He's going to keep this base alive for now. Zealot just kind of feeding into him at the moment. Looks like a Dark Templar here going to do work on these Lings and Hydras in the center right. Getting a ton of kills already at six. Could he get even more? A Overlord is on its way over here. Should be able to finish this Dark Templar off. But it does manage to run away, it seems. Moving over towards the right-hand side now. Pig would love to deny this base over here. If he possibly can get on top of this ramp. Oh, no block with Lurker Egg to uh, keep Pig from running up here. And this could be a ton of trouble now for Zealot. Some Lurkers are going to make their way up here, but there are two Observers ready to go. And this is a pretty decent sized force of Dragoon Zealot. Now he's going to run up here. Only two Lurkers, but this is a Defiler on the high ground. He's going to throw down a big plague on a bunch of these Dragoons. Two Dark Swarms go down as well. Looks like that is going to be enough. Just throw back Pig for now. He's not going to be able to break this base, it seems. Or is he? These Dragoons, they don't even need to be here, man. These Dragoons, they should just retire. Go back home. And that's what you get. Plague to the face. That's exactly what you get for staying here where you're not wanted, where you're not needed. This is called Dark Swarm, and it blocks everything that is a ranged attack. And that's everything that Dragoons have, so they're really, really worthless at this point. Need to start making some Archons here, but Pig, unfortunately for him, he's only got really this gas to work with right now. Oh, this one still has a little bit of gas left, over 1,600. But this is about to mine out, so he's going to start to run dry here on his gas count, unfortunately, for him. Oh, a trapped Archon as well. That's a, a really unfortunate trap here. He actually doesn't need this pylon. That's funny as well. How does this pylon and this pylon power that? That's what I want to know. And this too? What? How is this powered? Well, now it's powered, but how was it powered before? That doesn't make any sense at all. I'm just going to have to explain that. Because I just do not know. Now, we do have a big plague here from Zealot. Looks like he's actually lifting his uh, defilers up into the overlords. This is kind of like one of those funny moves that uh, we rarely ever see, but gets talked about time uh now and then 
where you're like, oh yeah, defilers, I mean, yeah, you can kill them pretty easily. You just send a couple of zealots or dragoons to kill them. Maybe an archon or two. You can throw a storm on them. You could even uh, hit them with the feedback in order to get rid of them. But if they're in an overload, you can't do any of that. Here comes a plague from behind. This army is getting absolutely swallowed up here at the 12 o'clock. Tons of lurkers coming up from behind. Hydra's here as well. Zergling's gonna be making up the remainder of that force and surrounding this army. Here we go. Archon with 16 kills about to go down. And Pig has lost his entire army. So huge blow there dealt to this Brodos player. He's starting to build this pylon here on the, on the high ground. He wants to eventually take that, but without an army on the map, he's not going to be able to do so. Only one Archon is present. He has not transitioned into Reaver Tech at all. He's just focusing on this infantry army, and he's going to send some infantry down here to 6 o'clock. Try to potentially take this base, but... I don't know if he can get this one on the high ground here, to be honest. This is, that's a lot of lurkers. And it looks like Zealot is considering taking this base. He actually, he actually picked that up. That's it's kind of a funny thing with Zerg. Um, if you right click anything with an overlord and you've got drop, it just picks up. And it's not like Terran or something where you only have a few drop ships or, or Protoss where you only have a few shuttles. You have a ton of overlords. An absolute ton. And sometimes you might accidentally click a unit. Right click a uh, an overlord onto a unit. Pick it up. And then it's just lost forever. You just never... You just don't know what happened to it. It's just gone. And, uh, you know, you'll... You, you won't find it until you look at the replay. Because uh, you'll never really look inside there. He does look inside. There we go. Good job, Zealot. He actually figured it out figured out where that is unfortunately for him this is just a mineral only and cannons are going up on high ground over here which could be a serious issue in the future drone in the bottom right was looking to throw down another hatch but it looks like it will be cleaned up pig leaving that drone hilariously not gonna finish that off having a bit of mercy here it seems like towards this drone now some links gonna come up to this high ground there's only three cannons here three cannons not gonna be enough i thought it was like five cannons that were coming up, but no, just three will be taken down. He wasn't, didn't have enough time with that gateway alive to build a couple of Templar or anything like that. And so he will lose that base and Zealot is going to secure the upper left quadrant. Big deal here for our Zerg player able to secure that location is pretty huge. Big, meanwhile, gonna try and break through here in the center right. Zealot mobilizing the entire Zerg swarm to get down here and potentially crush this army. It's like a bunch of oh, uh, Dragoons going down from the Hydra shots on the high ground. Oh my god, that was a big storm. I think it was um this one. Five kills? Seven kills? One of those two. Killed off a ton of drones on these few mineral patches here at the bottom. That is a big win there for Pig, but he's not able to break the base. So the bigger win has been denied here. It looks like Crackling's going to make their way into this location. He's actually done plus three on the attack and no armor. I've never seen that before. This is a first, guys. Maybe, maybe Zealot has something going on maybe he's on to something here boys going for attack only and then waiting until late game to get the armor here against protoss it kind of makes sense if you think about it if you think about it going for the uh going for the attack does seem to make sense because you have that high dps army with the hydra with the ling and storm completely ignores armor so if you, if you can't afford to get all the upgrades, might as well just go for the attack. That way you'll still get your DPS out that you would have gotten uh, pretty much regardless. And then uh, the storm, I mean, it does the exact same damage. So it's not the biggest deal. I don't know. I, I think that's pretty big brain, if I'm being honest. Now a counter attack here from Zelda. Gonna throw down some Dark Swarm. Going to work on this Nexus here. 
Looks like the storms here just barely not enough to finish off all these links and a big play goes down, but it's unfortunately on just a bunch of Templar, which can morph into Archons and regain a ton of shields. Just gain all those shields and lose that health does not matter. Base is going up here in the top left for Zealot. He's starting to secure that location. Six o'clock is now being secured for Pig, so both players not really able to shut each other down, not able to prevent each other's expansions from going up at this point. And we are gonna go on to kind of an insane late game with an crazy number of lings being produced now from Zealot, keeping his money very, very low, but despite having 57 drones, and quite a few bases on the map. He actually needs to send some drones up here to the top left and really secure this. This is kind of a dangerous game that Zealot is playing with nothing up here in the top left. You really need to get some defenses here because drops can come through for Pig. He hasn't used them so far, but storm drops are definitely a thing when it gets to this time in the game. Storm drops can be incredibly useful incredibly uh, painful as well for the Zerg player to deal with. It's like more plagues coming down. He's going to go for the juiciest plagues he possibly can with these three defilers. That's all he's looking for is just to weaken this army as much as possible before the, uh, the full engagement comes through. You can see nearly all these units are in the red right now. A few of them did manage to escape the plague, but Cracklings running up here are going to start to tear apart these low HP units. Big flanks on both sides now, trying to kill as much of this as he can. Zealot doing a fairly good job with just pure uh, mineral units, just 100% crackling. Now the Link's starting to come forward. Here comes the first drop. There we go. Gets a bunch of kills here on these drones. Looks like he may be able to get another really nice drop here. Oh my god, so many kills. Nine kills, 12 kills, and more. I think 13 total now have gone down. Here comes another drop, another Templar. Does it have energy for Storm? Here we go. Not gonna drop that off. I think that was actually the Templar that didn't, or it used all of its storms. It used three storms, so it's definitely not gonna have those storms anymore oh god a dark templar here making its way into the top right natural gonna get quite a few kills five kills six kills seven kills oh man so painful this base that doesn't have any minerals at it is gonna go down but this is a a powerful location to be controlling here for zealot right now he's killing quite a bit of this army and controlling this high ground is actually huge all the rallies are going to be coming out from Pig, and they can't really join the rest of the army unless they break this kind of containment here. It's not a real contain. You can still run through this way, but having these lurkers on high ground is a real pain in the neck here. Zealot re-droning right now, but I heard a drop. Where is it? Pig going to go for some more kills on some more ten or on some more drones. Oh my God! 23 kills 24 kills holy crap those drones just now making their way over here to work they were wanting to get to work here but they just get slaughtered another storm goes down zealot being dropped off here dropping a couple of templar as well gonna go for the storms pretty decent not gonna get as many drones as that other uh, one did this guy right here. He is an absolute savage hero Templar in this game has killed so many workers But the problem still remains right now for pig even though he's killing tons of drones Look at all the kills here as well 49 drones still do remain and this contain is getting more and more deadly more and more dirty here for the Zerg player. He's really bringing up a ton of lurkers and he's preventing the armies from joining at this moment. He's even going to bring up some defilers as well. Oh my god, this could get so dirty. We're going to have some huge plagues here. Oh, that plague on the entire line of cannons here and all these frontal zealots. He's going to go ahead and consume some more. Maybe get some more plagues going right now. 
might as well because that is just insane insane value from those units Templar still here another storm goes down I almost missed it there another 10 kill Templar let me oh that Templar went down that's unfortunate Four pig. Oh my god. He killed every drone here, guys. Every drone in the top left. Down to just 39 drones. Zealot forcing his way in through the natural. He's trying his best to, to break pig here, but his drone count has been reduced significantly. He's sending a big wave forth, but some Archons are coming out now. More Archons are being made here in the natural. He's going to be able to get his forces together shortly if more lurkers aren't built and used. Another drop here. Does he have enough energy? No, he does not. Not enough to cast another storm on these drones. Zella just relentless in building up this drone count. Back up to 53 now. And then pushing into the natural once again. This is impressive stuff from Zella. Taking that much damage with the storms, the storm drops, and still being able to to macro like this still being able to push down this protoss who's managed to se secure these two extra bases this is actually almost mined out now just a serious problem for pig catching some reinforcements coming across the map here this is going to be a great trade for pig does some serious damage with those storms keeps the majority of those archons alive can even make another archon more drones coming out up to 55 now breaking in through the natural Another drop comes forward. Looks like he will be able to get a storm on that high ground, getting as many drone kills as he can, but will it be enough? 10 kills on this. Scourge are now in position to defend some of these drops, but I don't I don't know if uh, Pig really has anything left. Can he actually hold on here? As uh, Zealot starts to get up here into the main, he's going to start to kill all these gateways. Gateways are going down on mass. Oh my god. Pig going to lose the gateways here. He's holding on, but just barely. Okay, he's got another force out here on the map. This is super important. Keeping this force out here, he can break the, the contain. He can kill these lurkers. That is going to be huge. Killing the Lurkers, maybe he can secure his natural once again. Oh, big surround there on that Archon. Nicely done. Loses the Archon to his own storm. That's frustrating. One base mining here for Pig right now, and he doesn't have many probes at this location. I don't know where they all are. Oh, they're all over here. That's a bummer. He needs to get those to work. And he needs to secure another base here. Zealot just rallying Lings forward endlessly at this moment. The trades are really good for Pig right here. Killing off like 24 Lings for maybe a Storm. That's it. Trading a little health, a uh, little shields on these uh, Archons. That's pretty decent. But it's not going to be enough uh, if he does not secure another base where can he actually take one down in the bottom right i suppose he's trying to do a counter attack oh my god going for the counter attack i don't think is the right plan i think you need to transition maybe into some reavers and try to just take another base he's gonna push over here towards zealot's top right hand base he's gonna start to pick off some drones there possibly gonna lose this no he keeps the observer alive thankfully but the army is so small now zealot is gonna try and surround them maybe pick off these high templar now and the pig just with almost nothing left he's still got mining down here in the bottom right but is he actually mining with three probes yes he is he actually needs four probes on that to mine it efficiently there we go the DTs coming out here. They can be super useful in the late game, but they end up getting plagued perfectly by Zealot. He's going to pick those off. And Zealot just in full control now. Huge, huge waves of units coming across the map. Going to be crushing this last bastion of the Protoss Force down to just 100 supply. Throwing out huge storms, but the Lurkers are moving in surrounding this army and finishing it off will be easy here comes a wave of probes but they all get picked off by the lurkers that is 
Probably going to be the last play of this game as those probes die. And there's no real future for Pig in this game with not another base gone down in the bottom right. I think he'll have to tap out here. Just two DTs on the map, man. That's all he's got. It's like a potential drop. Got shut down here from Pig. He's not able to get any more kills on these drones. Zealot is still increasing in army supply right now. 144 to just the 89 of the Protoss. He's sitting on top of cannons. He's got quite a few Templar, but he just does not have the forces necessary to take another base at this point. Gonna try and throw down some more storms here. Try to maybe make some magic happen, but I really feel like this game is about to end. No shuttle speed, so he can't get away here. Shocking that Pig managed to get as much damage as he did earlier in the game without that shuttle speed, but he's no longer able to get that damage. Zealot is now in control with the... Uh, Scourge ready to go able to chase those down Not going to allow any more damage to occur. He's pushing his opponent back up his ramp There's really nowhere for pig to go at this point and zealot just kind of waiting for the tap out now He's controlled this game. He's Lost a lot of drones. I'll be honest. He's lost so many drones. It's kind of crazy but he still managed to keep his macro going throughout it all. It is impressive to see this guy take as much damage as he has and still continue to push forward for the win here. Lurkers running up this ramp, hitting his macro stride right now, still at 150 supply, even though he's running through storms with a ton of units, just losing a lot of those. It does not matter. The gates are going down and GG is called Pig Taps Out. There you have it, guys. Thank you so much for watching today. We had an epic PVZ versus Pig and are with Pig versus Zealot. Excuse me, I cannot talk right now. I've been jet lagged to shit, boys. Just crazy jet lag lately. I'm waking up every morning at 4 a.m and uh doing a bunch of stuff with visa ta and tax information so it is what it is boys there's your statistics there's your game there's your hit of brood war for the day i'll see you guys tomorrow for the next one